One of the new cool features of Windows 7 that I really like is the Libraries feature. Now this allows you to have a central location that you can use and then have a whole bunch of other locations point to it. So let's say, and this is probably going to be a pretty good example of what libraries are used for by the way. Let's say that you've got a whole bunch of photos here, they're on your C drive and they're stored say in your pictures folder. Now you might have some more photos stored on your desktop and maybe you have some more on a different drive in the same computer as well. Let's say you've got a D drive. And then of course you might even have some more sitting on a different machine altogether such as a network drive. Well in most cases unless you're a diligent sort of person whereby everything has its place and everything is neatly organized if that doesn't sound like you and let me tell you that doesn't sound like me either then you probably got photos stored all over the place. Now maybe it's not photos, maybe it's mp3s or software or videos. Whatever it is, we often have similar types of files spread all over the place and it's a pain to find everything. But here's the thing. You could just grab all of the photos that are stored in this location and here on the D drive and on the desktop and we could just copy all of them straight into our pictures folder. But if you're like me, you've probably got a lot of photos and only a small Windows drive and quite frankly, I don't have the space to be doing that. So my preference is to put all of these photos down here on my server because not only do I have large terabyte hard drives on my server, space really isn't an issue, but I also like to have photos on my server since my server gets backed up regularly and, well, my Windows workstation I really don't bother backing it up since all of the important stuff stays on the server. Thirdly, having my data on a server means that anyone can access those photos without me having to leave my PC on all the time and that's what I want. Heck, that's part of the reason for me having a server in the first place. But here's the thing, Windows 7 has this fantastic libraries feature and if you try and use it with a network drive, it's just not going to let you. Well. Not unless the drive has first been indexed. So let's go and see what I mean. Alright, well I'm on my Windows 7 machine here and it's connected to our winstructorlab.com domain. So let's quickly go and create a shared folder somewhere and anywhere is fine, just as long as it's not on this machine. So we're going to click start and we'll open up our computer and I'm going to navigate to dc01 slash c dollar and that's going to take me to the C drive on my domain controller here. So let's right click here and we're going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this folder photos. Now we'll come over here to the left and we'll go to the pictures library on our Windows 7 machine and let's go here into the sample pictures folder and I'm going to select all of these pictures here and I'll right click and choose copy and I'm going to hit the back button here a couple of times and we'll go back to that photos folder that we created a moment ago and we're going to right click and we'll paste these photos right in here. Alright, so now we have a remote folder with some images in it. And of course, you're not going to have to do this. It's most likely that you already have your files in a remote folder somewhere. I'm just doing this to give us something to work with here. Okay, so let's go back to our libraries folder and we could well easily create a new library and call it photos or whatever but let's just add that folder to our pictures folder here since that's already being used for images anyway. So we're going to double click on pictures and at the top here you can see we have this hyperlink telling us that our pictures library currently includes two locations. So let's select that link and that'll open up a new window and this is where we can add or remove new locations to our library. So let's add in a new one, so we'll click add and then here we can just browse to the folder where the images that we want to add are. So firstly let's go to our computer and then our C drive and I'm going to quickly create a new folder here and I'll call this photos and we'll double click on that folder and down the bottom we'll choose include folder 
and we'll click OK. And here you can see that the Photos folder on my C drive was added in just fine. So at the top we're going to click this hyperlink again and you can see this time it tells us that we have three included locations. So we'll select that, we'll choose Add again. Now this time we're going to browse to our domain controller. So that's DC01 slash C dollar and we'll hit enter there. And there's our photos folder that we created a moment ago. So we're going to double click on that and we'll choose include folder. And we have an error. This network location can't be included because it's not indexed. Well, that's lovely. We have this hyperlink here which tells us how we can index a folder. But basically we've got two options. We could take that whole photos folder and copy it to our local computer and that would index it and that would be okay to add. Alternatively, we could make this photos folder available offline. So we'll click close here and let's open up a new copy of Explorer and we'll go back to our remote photos folder. So that's DC01 slash C dollar and there's our photos folder. So we'll right click on that and you can see here we've got this option here to always make it available offline. Now if we were to select this option, then we'd be able to have this folder indexed. Cool? No, not really. The fact is, if we do this, then we can include this folder in our libraries. The problem is, basically it means that we're copying this entire Photos folder to our Windows 7 workstation, and that's not really a good solution, since I think it defeats the whole purpose of us wanting to be able to include this folder in our library in the first place. I mean, if I wanted to copy this folder to my local machine, then I'd just copy it to my local machine, then we wouldn't be having this discussion anyway, right? All I want is for the libraries feature to point to that remote photos folder. Impossible? No. Let's see how we can do it. Now the first thing I like to do here is to go to my C drive on my local computer and we're going to right click and create a new folder and I'm going to call this folder libraries. You can call yours whatever you like. In fact, you don't actually have to do this step if you don't want to. For me, this is just a place where I can store shortcuts. So inside this folder, we're going to right click and we're going to create another folder. I'm going to call this one Photos. Again, you can call yours whatever you like. Since we're using Photos as the example, I'm going to go with the name of Photos for now. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this Explorer window out of the way here for the moment. And I'm going to go back to my libraries here and we'll click Add and we'll go and browse to this photos folder that we've just created. So that's going to be on our computer, our C drive, libraries, photos, then we'll click the include folder button. Now we'll click OK. And down here you can see we have four locations. The one at the bottom here is pointing to the photos folder that we just created inside our libraries folder. And we're talking about this folder right here, which of course is blank and it doesn't contain our photos at all. So why did I just create a local folder and point our library to it when this folder here doesn't even contain our photos? Well, that's just to get the library's feature to actually create the link. So this link here, this link over here, that's pointing to the folder C Libraries Photos. What we want is for this folder to point to our network folder. So what we want to do right now is to delete this photos folder that we've just created. Actually, you heard me correctly, we're going to delete it. So we'll right click on it, we'll choose delete, we're going to say yes, and it's gone. Alright, so here now what we have is our library, it's pointing to a folder that doesn't even exist. So let's fix that. So we're going to click start. We're going to type in CMD to open up a command prompt. And what we're going to have to do here is to create what's called a symbolic link to the photos folder on our server. So to do that, we'll use the make link command. That's MK link, followed by the slash D switch which tells this make link command that this is a directory that we want to link to. Now if we don't specify this slash D, 
then this make link command is going to default to a file link. So we will need to add in the slash D here. Then we'll need to tell this command the location we want to create the link from. And that's going to be the folder we just created, then deleted. So that's going to be C colon backslash libraries slash photos. And then the target, which is going to be the folder on our remote server. So that'll be dc01 slash c dollar slash photos. Now we'll hit enter and it's done. We can see the symbolic link has been created and it's pointing from this path to the remote server. So let's now go back to our libraries folder and we'll refresh it. And if we scroll down towards the bottom, now our photos appear. And these photos, of course, aren't on my local machine. They're on the remote server, but they appear here in my local pictures library. So if we right click on any of these photos here and then choose properties, you'll notice that this tells us that this photo here is stored on our local machine inside this photos folder. Now, if we go to Explorer, you can see our photos folder doesn't actually exist anymore. And we know that because we deleted it not long ago. But in its place is this shortcut, a symbolic link. And if we right click on it and choose properties, you can see this link here points to our remote photos folder on our server. So did you follow all of that? Well, obviously I can't hear you. So I'll assume you all said yes. But for those of you that didn't, let's go and do one more example. Let's open up a copy of Windows Explorer again. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect to my server again, which is DC01 slash C$. And we're going to create a new folder again. Let's call this one Holiday. And we'll assume for the sake of the argument that we're keeping all of our holiday photos in this folder. So let's go and open her up. And we'll right click in here. We'll create a new bitmap image. And let's right click on this image and choose edit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scribble some garble here inside this folder. Let's just use a few colors and make something pretty. Pretty ugly that is. But they'll call this art when I'm dead. And up the top here we're going to save this file. And that gives us something here to identify that this is a new file we've just created on our remote server. Okay, so let's minimize this and we'll go back to our libraries folder. And here it is. And like I said, you can do this part from anywhere you like on the local machine. This is the part where we create a folder, point our library to it, then delete the folder. So you can create this folder wherever you like. I only decide to put them inside this libraries folder I created. As that sort of structure, it works for me. Now you could create them on your desktop or in your documents folder, wherever you like. So in my libraries folder here, we'll right click, we'll create a new folder. Now we don't also have to call this folder holiday like the remote folder is though. Again, we could use whatever name we like. So let's call it something else. Let's call it vacation. All right, so there's our folder created. Let's go back here to our pictures library. We'll click on the hyperlink. Then we'll choose add. Now since this remembers the last folder we work with, we're here. So we'll double click on the vacation folder and then choose include folder. Now we'll click OK. Now in here. OK, right at the bottom, there's our vacation folder, which of course is blank. So now we'll go and delete that vacation folder and we'll choose yes. Now we'll go back to our command prompt and we'll use the up arrow on our keyboard here. That'll show us our previous command. Then what we're going to do is we're going to change the local path of libraries photos to libraries vacation. And the remote path is going to be dc01 slash c dollar slash holiday. And we'll hit enter. And the link has been created. So let's go back to our pictures folder here, our pictures library, and we'll refresh it by hitting F5. And let's scroll down now. And there's the vacation folder. It's been added to our pictures library, complete with the masterpiece that I created 
just a moment ago. Now a lot has been said about libraries and although it was pretty quick for me to create this little workaround, if you've got lots of different folders that you want to pull into this one folder, then using libraries is just the answer. But I will say though that if you have only one folder, let's say our remote vacation folder here, which of course really points to the holiday folder on our domain controller. Let's just say that this holiday folder is a folder that I use a lot. Well, you don't really need to use libraries for that. You could just add that folder as a favorite location. And to do that, we'll simply just go to the folder in question. So up the top here, we're going to enter in dc01 slash c dollar and we'll go to our holiday folder here. If this happens to be the frequently used folder, over here on the left, we're going to go to our favorites. We'll right click on that and choose the bottom option to add the current location to our favorites. The current location is, of course, our holiday folder. So we'll click that and you can see that it's been added here on the left. So if we click away from this screen for a moment, let's just go to our desktop for argument's sake and we'll go back to our holiday folder. You can see it takes us straight into this remote folder. So remember that process again. The process is we create a folder, we point our library to the folder, we delete the folder, and then we create a symbolic link which points from the deleted folder to the real network folder and bingo, you're done. So there you have two different but similar options here with Windows 7. We have this favorites option and that's great when you have one folder or one location that you want to add. But the libraries function is useful when you have lots of possible locations that you want to group together just like we did with our photos. In this video, you've seen proof that you shouldn't always believe what you read on the internet and you most certainly can use libraries with remote shares or network drives without having to index that drive first. Don't believe that error message when you see it because it most certainly can be done without indexing the drive. It just takes a few steps here and there like you've seen and anything's possible. So now you can enjoy using libraries with your remote drives. We hope you've enjoyed this video and would like to thank you for watching.